Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use notdiamond.ai. At the moment, all the models are basically free. They, there's quite a large number of prompts you can use with it, and it has integrated in with it pretty much all the large language models. Um, so pretty cool resource, notdiamond.ai. Um, let's check it out. So here I've actually logged into it. Um, so it's zero out of a hundred thousand requests on the free tier, which is very high. And I'm sure this is going to come down. Um, but I'd assume that they're looking at enterprise customers for this. Um, so if I go chat <coughs> now up in the right hand, so just like normal GPT, you've got the ability to create chat threads. You've got the ability to upload, um, documents and, up in here, you let's turn arena mode off, <clears throat> but basically we have all of the models down here. Um, and if we just wanted to use ChatGPT4, we could turn the rest of these off, um, but let's leave them all on. Um, it also has the ability to have custom system prompts. So what this is, is <clears throat> if you wanted the model to behave in a certain way, like you want it to be more conversational, you want it to be professional, um, you can add prompts in here that will then overlay the results you're getting. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, I'll leave that off for now. Um, and it also gives you the ability to, oh, okay, that's just documentation. So this arena mode gives you the ability to compare models. So you could turn two of these on and it would return two results at a time. So if I was just to say, Give me a brief history of um, Canadian history. <clears throat> so it's going to send it out. Um, it's going to look at that prompt and it's going to work out what is the best model for that. And let's see what it came up with. So ChatGPT 4.0. And it even gives you the cost, 0 0.0257. That's what it cost actually to run this, which is, which is quite a lot. But if I was to say, write me a brief letter to my class giving an overview of Canadian history as above. Let's see what that does. So that's obviously used Claude Sonnet. And the cool thing is it has the copy and face feature. Um, you can regenerate that with a different model. So if you wanted to use Gemini Pro, you can run that again. So I've done about five prompts. I'm just going to go back and see. Yeah, see, it's still showing zero. That might update eventually. But yeah, you can also um, <clears throat> give that a thumbs up. You think that's good? Um, they'll feed that back into their algorithm of whether that's um, the best model to use for that. And they're going to build up that data set over time. So yeah, I thought this product was really cool. Um, Notdiamond.ai. Check it out.